Bing bong boom. Yes. Mr. Sir. Worldwide, when I walk in the room, I'm a hustler, baby. You already know it's your boy, Big 38. What was that? I don't know. I was feeling a little joy this episode. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm cool with it. You already know it's Coach Carey, aka MC4. Mr. Tap himself up. I'm here, baby. Hell yeah. He dropped himself up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keep doing it. Off season. All men are created equal. Some just work harder during the off season. Let's work. Just a little check in. Yeah, we need every once in a while we gotta check in. Yeah, we don't need nothing crazy. Check the mental. Check it. Check everything else that's going on in our life. So check look, it. I'm gonna start with you though. Boom. Check in. Mental. How is it? It's good, bro. I'm in a I'm in a good I'm in a good place right now, you know. Yeah. Um, everything's just running smooth, and I can't ask for nothing more. Got surrounded by people who make my life easy. Mm. You know, mom, dad, friends, family, any type, anything I need. Like I got people around me that make my life easy. Mm. Like it's something small, like you know, getting dinner, so I don't got to rush home. Yep. You know, before something closes, you know that that takes stress off. Absolutely. You know, um, Man's got to eat. Facts. The gym, you know, with my three partners, you know, that stuff. Here, it, you know, shooting podcasts. It's easy. Mm-hmm. Everything's easy. Um, easy going. Um, but I can't ask for better mental health right now. Good. You know, I'm glad I'm in a safe space where I can... I think this helps me out too because I'm not just... You know, you go day to day with just going about your day, but this gives me the time to, you know, talk. Yeah. You this know? is like a journal. Exactly. Good. Exactly. You need that. How about you? Mental's okay. You know, I'm going through a little something in the head right now. So it's not 100%. You know, out of 10, I'd say I'm, you know, I'm at a five, truthfully. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to work through some stuff, talking to some people, getting some help, trying to maneuver out of my little funk I got, you know, but I'm definitely surrounding myself with the right people, people that support me, people that love me, people that are kind of there for me when I need them. Mm -hmm. Um, But that doesn't necessarily always mean that that person's good, like myself. So, you know, I got to, I'm just, I'm, I'm going through it. So I'm just going to, I'm going to get right though. So what do you think right now is something that you're um, doing outside of talking to people? What are you doing for yourself Mm -hmm. mentally, physically, emotionally to help you get through this tough time? You know, I started meditating a little more. You know, I've had this meditating app on my phone and it sits there. And, you know, I'm like, all these people say mental health, mental health. A lot of things that help mental health is to meditate. So I started meditating, you know, not every day, which I definitely do think I should start. Even if I started my day or ending my day, getting that meditate. It's 10 minutes. Right. You know, if I can't make 10 minutes for a meditation session, then, you know, that's on me. So I got to get better at that. Meditating is one and I and I actually journal. Uh, I write down. It's not long. I might write a paragraph on my, in my little journal, but I'll write kind of how my day previously went. If anything was good, if anything was bad, things I liked, things I didn't like, mm-hmm. and then I write a list of my to do list for the day that I'm doing. Whether you know it's at work and then the gym after. If I got personals, if I got a meeting, if I got the podcast, everything's written down to try to help me get a little more structured. And truthfully, the biggest thing that's helping my mental health right now is football. Uh, being in spring ball is really kind of keeping my mind on track even though it's early mornings it's what I love you know I've loved football since the day I started playing but I love coaching even more since the day I started coaching so that's giving me those the put my players don't don't really understand what they mean to me only knowing me seven practices but they kind of keep me in check you know like an outlet yeah exactly gives you the time to just nothing else is going wrong I don't care about anything right now. Mm-hmm. Boom, I'm here to coach you, get yep. you better. It's like when you play. When you play, you use football as like that getaway. Like everything else outside of your life is not going on. It does not matter. When you're in those two hours of practice. And that's kind of the same way for a coach. You know, coaches go through it just as much as players go through it. Right. But a lot of times coaches don't have, you know, they, they got families. They got a lot of things going on that people tend to forget. Like how's the coach doing? Because the coach is a is a person too. Right. You know, they, you know, they got a lot, if anything, there's a lot more stress on coaches to deal with a room full of players on different top of egos, a family, di- di- on different top issues. of everything that else they got going on. So just working through it, man. How, working through it. How is it getting up at 
four o'clock in the love morning it. every day. I love it. Don't say you love it. I you, swear to you God, come to the I gym and you gotta and you look like you went through war. Yeah, but then I have my coffee and maybe eat something and I'm good. I'm rejuvenated. You know, I really do. I don't mind it. I've always been Is a it morning. Been four o'clock every day. Uh, no, it's not every day. Okay. Right. So I I didn't have it yesterday, but I had it today. I got it tomorrow. Um, we're going on practice eight. So we're two weeks. Tomorrow will be two weeks into spring ball. Cool. I'm loving it. You know, I truly am. It's early, but I I always thought about it like people I watch, like videos I watch, it's like the early bird gets the worm and I live by that. Mm -hmm. So even when I'm not waking up at four o'clock, I always try to wake up an hour before I'm going anywhere mm -hmm. to kind of get my day started. I I like being a morning person. You know, I truthfully I'd rather be sleep early. Facts. And wake up early and get my day started going early. Facts. That's me though. You know, a lot of people are different. So for me, I, like I, I'm loving it. Four o'clock ain't nothing, man. I go get my wild, my twenty four ounce wild wild coffee. I'm good. Juiced up. I get there. I'm juiced. I, I may have had two sips of the coffee, but I pull up and I'm ready. So if the early bird gets the worm, mm. why do people say if you're patient, great things will come? Cause pay, pay, cause sometimes you can't necessarily you have to have patience, but you need to get up and work. Mm. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you still got to go get it every single day. Maybe you're you're just taking steps in the right direction every day. You have to try to take steps in the right direction every day, and then the results will come. You know, they say be patient. Talk to them. They say be patient, but you truly got to work for what you want. Mm. You know, they say work is everything. You know, hard. I I actually tweeted this today. Hard work is great. Like some along the lines of like hard work works. That's what it was. Hard hard work works. Because talent doesn't. Ooh snap. Mm. Talent gets you there, but hard work keeps you there. Ooh, my boy spin right now. I'm just saying. I just live by the something motto. like it, right? You know, you can have all the talent in the world, but if you ain't working, that talent only going to take you so it's far. It's only going to take you so far. There's so many first rounders that are not in the league. That's why us Absolutely. undrafted people. Get Chip it out the, the mud, mm. and we the most people in the league. Talk to them. Mm. Love that. Urgh. You ready? Hey, you ready? You got, you're leaving soon. Yeah, I'm out of here, bro. Like, when this episode drops, you're going to be I'm in Carolina. I'm going to be this in Charlotte, North in Carolina. In Charlotte, North Carolina. How do, how do you feel? I am so excited. Are you ready? I am. I'm excited to, because when I go to Charlotte, it's kind of mm. like, not really a vacation, but it's like, I'm just focused on football. Yeah. There's no training. There's mm -hmm. no training no one. There's no... I'm still running the day-to-day -day business stuff from afar, but like, there's no like hassles of, oh, I got to be here to train this person, there to train this person, there to train this person. This time, like, I could really focus on getting better, yep. which I'm still doing. Don't get me no, wrong. You're, I'm, you're doing I'm it here. Doing it. You're still training, but there's a lot more that goes on when you're here because exactly. you got to train people. You got to hop in meetings in person yeah. and... There's people pulling you in so many different directions, like between the gym, yeah. between here. Yeah, I'm gonna be up. On, I'm gonna be up at your time on Monday through Thursday. I, I've decided I'm gonna go to our 6 a.m. workouts. We're gonna see how long this lasts. Cause don't leave me hanging. The 6 a.m. is open to anybody. Okay, we're gonna lift defense and offense. Mm -hmm. They'll be later, like at like 11 and 10. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm thinking I'll go to the 6 a.m. lifts. I like that in running, just to jump start the day. So that means you gotta wake up at what time? I live two minutes from the stadium, so I'll wake up five thirty. Make a coffee, or will you? Not I'll make the coffee after the workout at the facility. Yeah, so I'll have a banana okay. walking. To okay, the, I'm walk. I'm strictly walking. Good, safe. That's yeah, crazy gonna, right now. Yeah, I'm gonna walk to the facility Good. every morning. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the workout, have a banana on the walk, mm -hmm. um, and then after I'm gonna have a coffee, maybe a little bit of fruit. You gonna stay at the facility? Yeah, because we have team meeting at eight. Okay. So team meeting, then I go right into uh, meetings, and then I'll be done for the day at what ten thirty. A lot earlier than it was if it's in the season. You got so you got a new position coach, Coach Wilkes, right? Yeah, man, got to talk to him. Good dude, he the bros. Oh, yeah, 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 They're bros are everywhere. everywhere. They're everywhere. Every time I look or turn, like you're talking to a bro, and then I'm like, you. That's from they. You didn't go to school with him. It is what it is. It's I just, think that's cool. It's a way so. of life, bro. That's cool. It's a way of life. So like, how like do you? He's got a very very successful past. Yeah. You know, he's a very well renowned coach in this him, in this him industry. Being in North Carolina for the second time. Yeah. You know, he's from North Carolina. Okay. He's from there. Um. So he knows kind of the community. He knows everything. Mm -hmm. What's going on? What do you got to do 
to be successful in Carolina. Mm -hmm. Because every place is different. Every place is different. You know, you got to, you know, he knows how to put the hard work in, you know. Um, Just happy to be surrounded by somebody like that to learn and to advance my career where I want to be mm-hmm. and everything I want to do, I feel like he will put me in the right positions. Not saying that Coach Simmons, Coach Simmons is a great coach. Absolutely. But he moved on to the Raiders now. Good for him. Good for him. You know, still keep in touch with him. Great dude. Um, Cooper, uh, Evan Cooper is still there. Coach Coop is still there. Awesome. Um, so not much has changed. Mm-hmm. It's just, you know, the person who's going to be teaching me to a day-to-day basis is changing. So, you know, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm excited because I'm going to be learning – Cause I'm gonna be learning something different, yeah, a different way. Mm-hmm. Cause not every coach coaches the same, so he's gonna teach in a different way. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be exciting to learn his way. Everybody, every coach has their like niche on how they go about things. Yeah. They have certain techniques that they like. Man, you better ask Coach Wilkes if he, you know, if I can come down and get a little professional development, sit in on some meetings, come run some stuff by him. I don't know if they don't felt works like that, but there, I know, I, like I can go to a college and sit in on meetings yeah. and ask questions and stuff like that, but. Talk to him. I don't really I'm just trying to be a sponge and soak up as I'm much information. I'm usually the quiet guy in the back mm. with a notebook. Okay. Right Why are you not in the front? It's not school. This is the NFL. Just get your Coach notes. Garrett, who I'm coaching for now, told me when I played for him that you got to sit in the first three rows. In school. Yeah, but in meetings, if you sit in the first three rows, you know you locked in. It's- Oh, I'm locked in. Is it I'll, different? I'll answer any questions you got. Is it different when you get to that level? So we all sit, all the safety sit in one area. Okay. So, so just kind of sit near each sit other. Sit near each other. Okay, I get that. I, like get I sit that. next to Justin Burris and I bother him the whole meeting. That's your big brother, though. That's, that's big bro. You know, I, I am like- You're learning from him. Like, I'll ask him some weird questions. <laughs> and he'd be like, Mom, shut up. I don't even want to know. be like, Mom, shut up. And I'm like, but answer the question. Stop being difficult. Answer the question. I don't even want to know. It's it gets it gets weird. I bet. I feel like like he hates me sometimes, but it is what it is. Because I'm You're like, like that. that. Are I'm you like annoying, that annoying little, little brother? brother? Yeah, I'm the okay. annoying, I'm the annoying little brother because I I have to be. I got one of them at home. I got an annoying he little brother. You, so don't. Yeah. Yeah. It happens though. Yeah, yeah. Justin, he's, he's I, good people. Yeah. Great. That's what's up? Cam Cam the goat. Cam the goat. Yep. Cam the goat. We should put him on the screen. We really shouldn't. Even he should be in here instead we of. Really me. should be right there. He should be. The, we should put him like maybe in the middle. Cam sitting down like Cam kneeling the goat. down or something. Cam the goat. Cam the goat. The guy behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Love that. Well, other than that, you know, you got OTAs coming up. You know, you're going back to I'll Charlotte. Back four, five, yeah, you'll be you'll be back. So. Just be on the lookout. You know, he's going to be in Charlotte, but we already got some episodes recorded that the content's not going to stop coming from us. Never. So just keep on the lookout daily every Tuesday, 4 p.m. We're dropping episodes. We're going to be dropping clips more and more as we get, we get going. I'm excited. You know, even though you're leaving, I'm excited the fact that, you know, we can even have some Zoom some Zoom calls. We got, a little, we got some stuff that we're going to work out to, you know, Absolutely. make sure that content never stops. Absolutely. And we keep going. Um, just keep tuning in. We appreciate everybody who watches these episodes. You know, we're growing, we're learning how to host, you know, Mm -hmm. we're learning how to, you know, get our opinions out there. You know, not everybody agrees with it, but I feel like the authentic way we're saying it and the genuine where it's coming from and the guests we have on, you know, we're really attacking this Jersey thing right now. Absolutely. Attacking Jersey head to toe, you know, we want to get everybody about Jersey in here. Mm -hmm. Then we'll worry about the other, you know, outside people. You know, because a lot of, you know, the, the... Country don't know like the amount of sleepers that Jersey has. Whether that's players, coaches, uh, mentors, you got people in the business world, you got influencers, bodybuilders. You know, New Jersey is filled with it's talent. Melting pot. It really is. A, there's talent everywhere you look. Yeah. And I'm excited, you know, to get that out there to the people. Like he said, we definitely appreciate you guys tuning in. We're new. We're starting up. So if you watch it now, it's only gonna go up from here. So keep it up. Oh, remember. Let us know what y'all want to hear. Yeah. Y'all want to hear a coaching thing of like how he does things, how he watches film or how I watch film. Whatever you want to know, hit us up in our DMs and let us know mm-hmm. on the off season. Let us know what you want to do. Um, and then I got I got a couple questions for you. Okay. So we've been asking a few of the you know the guests, guests. Yeah. But I'm going to ask you. Mm. Top three Disney. Top three Disney. Top three. All right. Give it to me. Number one, remember the Titans. Yes, it's a You're Disney so movie. You're so basic. All right? You're such a coach. Number two, Johnny Tsunami. That's a back. That's back, back, back. That's Disney Channel. Yes. Like, when they original. would do the 
That's Disney Channel. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, they did the whole thing. Yeah, the ears, the Mickey Mouse thing. Facts. Yeah. Um, number three is a tough one. You know, truthfully, it's I got it's tied right now. Let me hold on. Let me guess. Luck of the Irish. No. Um, the Lizzie McGuire movie. No. What are you trying um, trying to disrespect me? Sweet Life on Deck. Nope. The movie. Nope. Um, it's another throwback. It's a throwback. They're both throwbacks. One's a cartoon. One's a regular. Uh, Lion live King. One. No, no. Um, Mulan. Nope. Um, Do you want me to tell you the two I'm battling for three right now? I got to talk. Give me a hint. Give me a hint. I want to guess this. Give me a hint. It's two words. Okay. There's two main characters. What are they doing? Um, They're not real. They're not real. Hmm. They're not people. They're not people. I don't know. Toy Story. Okay. Is one and, and Brink. Buzz? Brink? Brink. What is Brink? Brink is that roller skate movie. You don't you never saw that? Never Yo, seen what? Never seen Brink. Okay. So you got some homework to do. You're gonna be in Charlotte with some extra free time. Watch Brink. Brink. It's like early two thousands, late nineties movie. I was it's, born in ninety seven, wasn't watching it. I I mean I'm only two years older than you. Well, that's two years you could have watched something. True. You was watching movies at two thousand in two thousand. Yeah, I was. I five. wasn't watching movies until two thousand, maybe three. Okay. Yeah. So I Brink. Check Brink out. Brink and Toy Star are the the tide right there for third. So we got Remember the Titans, Johnny Tsunami. That's a horrible list. Brink and Toy Story. That's a horrible list. What? That's a horrible list. I'm I'm sick like, of getting roasted like, in this what place, is man. Brink, like between all my, these movies I can name, and you between my bad outfits, brink? my bad feats, brink though, and apparently now my bad movie selections, brink. So what's yours? Brink. What is yours? Brink. You don't know what brink is, so you can't be that. It must be terrible if I ain't seen it. Cap, you're up. You're three. Mulan. <laughs> Mulan. Okay. Let's get down to business to defeat the Hun. Did I send me daughters when I asked for sons? You're a spineless bunch I've ever met. So pack up, you're gone, we're through. Mr. I'll make a man out of you. I'm never gonna catch my breath. Say how to load who knew me. Knew how to swim. We are in the raging fire. The spirit and Can the dark the side of what the moon. The of what is going on? That's my song right there. That's Mulan right there. I'm thinking you're about to say another movie. No, no, no. That was Mulan. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you don't do that with the other two movies. You know I came on here to sing today. Oh I came with goodness. the energy. I told you I had energy. You did have energy. I, I sang when we started this, so I must- I'm hitting my little, I my little be... wall from practice earlier. Well, that's between you and God. You I'm, and God. Yeah. I got that. All right. So, uh, second movie. We got Mulan. This is in order from one, two, and three. Mulan, yeah, your Mulan favorite. Mulan is- the, I just sang you a whole song. Like, stop playing with me. I was taking a nap. Then I had to go with Tell is all this time. Name the song, name the movie. I don't know. Let me sing it again. Tell is all this time. Dun, 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 dun. Please say it. Beauty and the Beast. Yo, that I was debate that's in my top five. That's in my top five. I saw it on Broadway. <laughs> let me see, let me say. Saw it on Broadway. Beauty and the Beast. Wait, are we saying anything on Disney Plus or are we just saying Disney? I mean... Because if you say anything on Disney Plus, I got to change my one because one will go to two, two will go to three. Let's just say Disney. You got lucky because I was about to sing my heart out right there. All right. Thank you. I'll sing anyway that song that I was about to sing, but okay. I'll keep it on Disney. All right. So, what's two, so we got Mulan, we got Beauty and the Beast, and what's three? <clears throat> Hakuna Matata. Such a wonderful phrase. Akuna Matata. Ain't no passing train. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Hey, hey, hey. It's hey. a problem free. Uh, 
Philosophy Hakuna Matata so one thing I just want to let you know um, when your football career ends please don't become a singer please save us and there's no worries for the rest of your days yeah man it's a problem free philosophy akuna matata Oh my God! But you want to hear what I was really about to sing? <clears throat> no, I don't. So what? Let's, let's be, <laughs> your top three is Mulan, Beauty and the Beast, Lion, Lion King. King. I'll probably switch Lion King, Beauty and the Beast. Okay. All right. Good. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. I was a bastard orphan, son of a whore, and a Scotsman drop. In the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean by Providence, Providence and Squalor. Grow up to be a hero and a scholar. The ten dollar founding father without a father. Got a lot harder by working a lot harder by being a self starter by 14. They put him in charge of a trading charter. And every day while slaves are being carted away, got different to be uh, inside. He was longing to, oh, to be a part of it. Brother so was ready to I'm steal, so beg, borrow, or barter. And the hurricane the came and devastation rained. Uh, He's still going. Oh, dripping, drip, going. dripping down the drain. Put a pencil to his temple, connected it to his brain. The hey. world is first to frame a testament to his name. And and the word got around. They said, this kid is insane, man. Took a book collection just to send him to the mainland. Don't, My don't man forget is, from hey. where you came. But the world's going to know your name. What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton. My name is Alexander Hamilton. I feel like that's a, a Disney, million you thing can I that haven't a done. Movie, though. Just you wait. Just you wait. I'm not clapping. Um, I just saw the play on Broadway. I know that's and that song was crazy. Like, if anybody wants to battle me in Hamilton trivia, let's get to it. Like, you know the vibes. Let's get to it. If you watch Hamilton or like, if you're a big fan like that, please let us know because this is the only man I've ever heard that really truly loves that. We could go bar for bar. I don't know all the like sing it. Yeah, I could. I applaud them because I was just I'm like hot uh -huh. and out of breath right now because yeah, whew, they did a think about it. They do a whole show of completely rap. They don't talk. Yeah, that you, wow. Like you don't think about that. Like in some plays you get they yeah. you know they have scenes where they talk. They did a whole play mm. three four hours of rapping. That's fire. Say after the war went back to New York. I, that I, well, I went back to New York. Come on, man. <laughs> so you've seen it on Broadway and you've seen it on Disney Plus. I've seen it on Disney Plus hundreds of times. Like I watch it maybe once a week. Okay. Like that's something you go to sleep on. You're just gonna put it on. No, I'm not going to sleep. Okay. I'm watching the whole thing. Okay. Like three and a half hours. Nice. So well, that's not even in, like that's gonna be your favorite movie of all time. So Hamilton. Yeah. Probably. No, I'm just saying. I'm not. You don't. I'm not. I'm telling you. After oh. that performance, that is your number one. So the other ones, that's your top three Disney. Like that's a Disney movie, but that's not even on that list. Like that, that's in its own category. Whatever you just did, your little audition for uh, I really Broadway. do think I really do think like if Broadway watches this, like put me in classes. Like I'm willing to learn to be Alexander Hamilton. I'm gonna find acting classes in Charlotte, and I'm gonna send them to you so that on your free time. Like I really want to be. I really want to be uh, um, Thomas Jefferson in um, uh, Lafayette. Okay. Lafayette. Okay. Lafayette. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bet. I came back with more guns Still going. and ships and sold the battling ships. They rattling bowl, they wrench and bowl, they with they gifts. I don't know man. how much singing these people the our fans want to hear. I think they like it. Well, that is now your job. I'm sweating. I, yeah, you need to you need to like, comment, especially comment on this. I I need to know your true opinion. Is he good at singing? Should he like? Should he maybe transition into learning how to act for post career stuff? And I I don't think he, that that's his wave. I don't think that's you know something that he's good at. But I mean, if you want to take classes, I'm gonna support you. 
You know, I'm behind you 100%. But whatever the hell I just watched and listened to, I hope I never got to hear that again. I think now, from now on, when it's just us two, I'm going to rap a Hamilton song every time. I'm going to be busy. Like, I'm going to rap every time we on here, I'm going to rap a Hamilton song until you understand. Okay. All right. That's a deal. Good. I made a deal with myself. All right, good. Because I'm not shaking on that. I don't care. All right, cool. This is me. Yeah. And you just tune into another episode of This Is Me. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Because we're all friendly. Mm, appreciate y'all. Hamilton. All season. All men are created equal. Some just work harder during the off season. Let's work.